Hello friends, welcome to Learn for Excellence. In this session, we'll learn how to take a square root of a number in just two seconds. So in the previous session, we have studied how to take a square of a number in just two seconds. In this session, we'll start with taking square root in just two seconds. Once again, welcome back to Learn for Excellence, Take Without End by Abdul Sir. So before taking the square root of any number, first we need to know the last digits. So first we'll look at the last digit. So if the last digit is 1, the number ends with 1. But here the confusion is, if the last digit is 1, it can end with 9 also. So there are two possibilities for 1. If the last digit is 1, digit is 1, the last digit of a square will be 1 or 9. This is square last digit of a square will be 1 or 9. If the last digit of a square root is 4, if the last digit of a square root is 4, then its last digit can be either 2 or 8. If the last digit is 9, it can be either 3 or 7. If the last digit is 6, it can be either 4 or 6. The remaining values, if the last digit is 5, it will be 5. If the last digit is 0, the last digit of a cube a square root will also be 0. So we need to remember this. Now how to take care of this? One simple thing, if the number is either 1 or 9, we will be having confusion between, uh, let us assume like some example, whether the number is 21 square or 29 square. At that time we have one short trick, just understand the trick. In order to understand it, go through the video and look at the video till the last you can solve any square root within two seconds you can solve any square root within just two seconds yes it's just two seconds we'll look at the problem here yes first problem is one two nine six first method is splitting the number in two parts for the last part should have 2. If it is a square root, we need to have 2. Similarly, in the next section, we will discuss about cube root. If it is a cube root, it should have 3 digits. So, if the number is 6, it can be either 4 or 6. So, the number is either 4 or 6. Next, now look here. It is 12. So, it is greater than which number? It is greater than 3 square. So, it is greater than 3 square. So, the number can be either 34 or 36. So, if the last number is 6, it can be either 4 or 6. This is greater than. So, if the number is greater than 12, if the number is 12, it means we need to check it is greater than which square? It is greater than 9. Clear? So, what is the value? There are two methods here. So, either to check 35 square. What is 35 square? 35 square is 3, 4 times 12. It is 1, 2, 2, 5. So, if the number is greater than 1, 2, 2, 5, it is 36 square. If the number is less than 1, 2, 2, 5, it is 34 square. So, obviously, 1, 2, 9, 6 is greater than 1, 2, 2, 5. So, the answer is 36 here. Clear? We will go to the next problem. Now look here, instead of wasting time, again calculating the value of 35 square, 25 square, we can save time, we can save again that one second to solve the problem, right? Okay, look here, the number is 9. If the number is 9, it means it can be either 3 or 7. It can be either 3 or 7. 3 square is 9, 7 square is 49. Okay, now look here, it is greater than which number? It is greater than 16, right? It means it is 4. So 43 and 47. Now look here, it is greater than 16, 22, right? Now check whether this 22 is closer to 25 or 16. If it is closer to 25, we have to take the larger number. If it is closer to 16, we have to take lesser number. So 25 is obviously closer to, very closer to 25. So answer is 47. No need to calculate 45 square here. We're getting the point here. So look at the number. If it is closer to the next number, write the number which is greater. I will go to the next problem. Number is 31, 36. If the number is 6, it will end with either 4 or 6. So I will write it as 4 or 
6 and what about this 31 31 is greater than 25 that is nothing but 5 square the number should be either 54 or 56 now look here that 25 and 36 it is closer to which 36 obviously 31 is closer to 36 so it is nothing but greater number so we have to select greater number so if this 31 is closer to 25 then we have to take 54 but it is not closer to 35 it is close uh, 25 it is closer to 36 so the answer is 56 here clear just if you are if you are confused with any of the problem just rewind the video and look at it once okay now we'll look at the next one yeah the number is 54 76 what is the number if the last number is 6 if the last number is 6 this value of square will be 4 or 6 so i'll write it as 4 or 6 what about this it is greater than 7 square right 7 square is 49 so number is 74 or 76 now look here we have 54 here whether 54 is closer to 49 or 54 is closer to 64 obviously it is closer to 49 it means we have to take the smaller value the answer is 74 we will look at next problem 7921 look here number ending with 1 if the number ends with 1 square number will end with 1 or 9 79 it is greater than 8 that is nothing but 8 8 times 64 right so it should be 81 or 89 now look here 79 it is greater than 8 but it is very closer to 81 so the number is the bigger one that is nothing but 89 look here if this number the actual number is closer to the previous square then we have to take the lowest number if the actual number is closer to the next square it means we have to take the larger number so this is not the answer the answer is 89 square we'll go to the next problem one two five four four oh it's a five digit number so look here number ending with 4 if the number ends with 4 it can be either 2 or 8 so i'll write it as 2 or 8 next what about this 125 it is greater than 121 it is greater than 11 square right so i'll write 11 here now we have 125 over here whether it is closer to 121 or 144 obviously it is closer to the previous square if it is closer to the previous square then we have to take the smallest number 112 square is the answer it is not 180 yeah we'll go to the next one 18769 if the number is 9 number can be either 3 or 7 now here we have 187 187 is greater than 169 right so it is greater than 169 here we have 187 it means it is 13 square so 133 or 137 now check whether 187 is closer to 196 or 169 obviously it is closer to 196 it is nothing but 137 square it is a greater value we'll go to the next problem 23409 now look here again 09 here it can be either 3 or it can be either 7 because 9 can have 3 or 9 can have 7 now look here we have 234 so we know 15 square is 225 16 square is 256 so it is greater than 15 square that is nothing but answer is either 153 or 157 now we need to check whether 234 is closer to 256 or 225 it is just 10 difference over here 10 or 9 difference so the value is closer to the previous number so the number is 153 it is not 157 clear uh, if you are feeling like i'm going fast just rewind the video and look at it once again clear so we'll look at the next number 22 28224 if the number is 4 the square number should be 2 or it should be 8 so it can be either 2 or it can be either 8 so now look here 282 216 square is 256 17 square is 289 it means it is closer to 
289 but it is greater than 16 so the number is 162 and 168 282 is closer to 289 so the number is 168 it is not 162 I will solve the last problem 49,284 so if the number is 4 the number will end with 2 or 8 so either it should be 2 or it should be 8 here we have 492 492 so what is the square here we know 21 square is 441 22 square is 484 look here it is just greater than 484 so we can take it as 22 here so we can take it as 22 look here 492 it is very closer to 484 so the number is the previous one that is nothing but 222 so if you are going to recall all those concepts you can find out the square root of any five digit or six digit number within just two seconds so the thing is like you need to practice a lot if you are going to practice you can solve it within one minute one second also so it's up to you that you are going to practice it or not thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel